Hello and welcome to a somewhat different episode of The Flying Reporter today, an episode without any flying. Instead, we're spending a day in the hangar here, meeting some of those who help keep us safe in the air. I'm at Aero Anglia, an aircraft maintenance organisation based at Elmset Airfield in Suffolk. Here they look after a fleet of 34 privately owned and six flying school owned aeroplanes. Engineer Aidan is working on the engine bay of this 1970s PA-28. What's the plan for today, Aidan? Right, the plan for today is to get this frame and firewall inspected, ready to accept the new engine from Nicholson McLaren over there, um, and get it hopefully hung and installed. During the aircraft's last annual inspection, the engine was found in a poor state of service and had to be removed and sent off for overhaul. Some weeks on, it's returned and is ready to be fitted. And you'll get this on today, will you? I hope to get it hung on today, yeah. Seeing I don't find anything unpleasant here, but it's just a clean up. New mounts, new hardware. Um, put it on a crane and jiggle it into place. It it's a reasonably simple installation on the Warrior, so it shouldn't be too bad. Reasonably simple it may be, but it'll still take Aidan all morning to inspect and prepare the engine frame. More from the hangar in a moment, but first an important message about our fly-in that was due to take place on the 15th of August at Wolverhampton Hapney Green Aerodrome. Sadly, after consultation with the local council and the aerodrome, we've made the difficult decision to postpone the event. You can find more details about this decision on my website. Over the other side of the hangar, a Slingsby is halfway through its annual inspection and needs to be raised on jacks so that the undercarriage and wheels can be checked over. It's not as easy as you might think, with the aircraft so finely balanced, one wrong move and it could tip over. What we don't want to do is put too much... No, but once you get yours under, you can use two. All the weight should be on the nose as it jacks up. Three engineers working in unison carefully start raising the wheels with Aidan joining in to guide the rear of the aeroplane onto a trestle support. We're airborne after a little bit of a head scratching, but nothing too dramatic, fortunately. With the weight off the wheels, engineer John Young can check for wear and damage. Now, straight away, you can see there's a bit of, a bit of play in the steering mechanism there, which we'll look into, and the torque links here as well. It, gives you a good opportunity to um, see if there's any play there. It's quite a common place for aeroplanes to wear up here, particularly if they're operated off grass strips and such. So this one doesn't seem too bad in the torque links. What's a good day in the workshop for you? I don't like to cause customers expense and grief, but I also take quite a bit of pride when I do find something wrong that could have potentially caused someone a problem. I don't want to be dramatic and say I'm saving people's lives or anything like that, but they're obviously, you know, if you, if you find something and, and rectify that situation before it's caused someone a problem, that, that's a good thing and I enjoy doing that. I also enjoy the sort of day-to-day -day tasks of just, just getting the aircraft ready for their date. You, you know, Quite often or not, they'll say, if you can, we'd really like it back for the 15th of July. We've got a holiday booked. It doesn't always happen, um, but we try and pride ourselves in making these dates happen. You, you know, if someone has got a trip booked, then we, we try our best. So there we have it. There's the wheel and the axle. And again, we'll clean up all around here, check for cracks, check for corrosion, check for play in the torque links. So there's a little bit starting to creep up there. Corrosion is an ever-present problem facing these old aeroplanes. And back over at the Warrior, Aidan has found some on the engine frame that he's been rubbing down. What's more, there might be a crack. Right, we're not going to remove all the paint, but enough to get a good visual around the welds. Get it clean, there's a black line there which I'm 99% sure is not a crack but we might just test it to make sure. 
a crack would be bad news. And so to rule it out, Aidan reaches for the magnifying glass. And the verdict? Scratch. Not a crack. These old aeroplanes, the, the nature of the work is changing slightly because the fleet is ageing. So we are discovering things that the manufacturers never intended to be maintained are, are wearing out and breaking. How long can this all go on like this, us continuing to fly these old I planes? have no idea because when I first came here 20 years ago, the engineer here said these things will all be gone in five years and they're not, they're still here. <laughs> so. And why is that? What is it about them that endures? Is it the reliability of them, yeah. the, 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 the way they were built? I to think last? so, yeah. yeah. And they'll tolerate a certain amount of mishandling. I think that's why they've stood the test of time. It's sort of an evolution thing. The ones that have survived 50 years and are still going were just well built. We have written off a couple with corrosion, where the value of the aeroplane gets to a point where if it's got a corroded spar and it needs an engine, the repair is going to be three times what the aircraft is worth. But they're not failing, they're, they're, they're becoming uneconomic gradually, very gradually. Corrosion dealt with and cracks ruled out, the frame is resprayed. It surprised me to learn that during an annual, the aeroplane's wheels are completely dismantled. Once the air is removed, the hubs are separated from the tyre. Can you learn a lot about the pilots who fly these aeroplanes from the, the sort of state of the undercarriage tyres and things like that? Well, as to how good they are at landing, do you mean? Well, you can tell if they land with their brakes on because you'll get a massive flat spot. We have got a customer who um, quite often has new tyres. He lands with his brakes on, but yeah, you can tell, you know, if the aircraft's been landed heavy, there'll be telltale signs. These annual inspections aren't cheap and it may seem an excessive amount of work, but a good annual will save an aeroplane owner money further down the line. I think there are some organisations that won't go to the lengths that we go to. They may say they do, but don't. And consequently, people end up with aircraft having downtime when they really shouldn't. We don't want people to be down unnecessarily when they should be flying. So when it is in here, we do everything we can to make sure it doesn't happen. With the paint on the freshly sprayed frame now dry, it's time to mount the overhauled engine. It's nearing the end of the day in the hangar and the engineers have largely completed what they set out to achieve. A good day at the office, I suppose, is when you, when you can get the bits you need and achieve what you set out to do and, and uh, things go reasonably smoothly. Has today been a good day? Yes. I think today's been all right, yeah. This engine went in without too much of a fight and I can see the... I can see some progress, I can see what I need to do next. My thanks to Aero Anglia for letting me spend a day in their hangar. In addition to this film, I also made a promotional video for their website. If you're looking for someone to make a web video for your business or organisation, then please do get in touch. That's all for now. Fly safely, my friends. <laughs>